Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. For the first time, NASA scientists have detected light tied to a gravitational wave event. The gravitational wave caused by an explosive merger of two neutron stars about 130 million light years from Earth produced a gamma ray burst and a rarely seen flare-up called a kilonova. The phenomenon was captured by our SWIFT, Hubble, Chandra and Spitzer missions along with dozens of NASA-funded ground-based observatories. On October 20th, NASA's Randy Bresnik and Joe Acaba completed the last of three U.S. spacewalks outside the International Space Station. The spacewalkers replaced a failed camera light on the Canadarm2 robotic arm's new latching end defector, installed a new high-definition camera on the station's truss, and completed a variety of other work. It was the fifth career spacewalk for Bresnik and the third for Acaba. New images of Saturn are among fresh findings from the Cassini spacecraft's final months orbiting between the planet and its rings. They include a mosaic showing the rings emerging from behind the planet's limb while also casting shadows on the planet itself. Another mosaic shows a panoramic view outward across the ringscape. Researchers also shared a new movie of Saturn's auroras in ultraviolet light, the final such view from the spacecraft's ultraviolet imaging spectrometer. Cassini ended its mission on September 15th with an intentional plunge into Saturn's atmosphere. But analysis continues of the massive volume of data the spacecraft sent during its long life. On October 19th, engineers at NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi completed a hot fire test of an RS-25 flight engine that will help power the agency's new Space Launch System rocket on Exploration Mission 2, the first flight of the new rocket to carry humans. Meanwhile, the four RS-25 engines that will power SLS on Exploration Mission 1 are ready to be attached to the rocket's core stage for further testing. Exploration Mission 1 is the first integrated flight of the SLS with our Orion spacecraft, but without a crew. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at www.nasa.gov.